Have you ever wondered how a single cell can develop into a complex human being? Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of human reproduction, a journey that begins with two microscopic cells and culminates in the miracle of life. We'll explore the roles of DNA and sex cells, the moment of conception, the growth of an embryo into a fetus, and finally, the incredible process of birth. So get ready to unravel the remarkable journey of human life from a single cell to a fully grown human being. It all begins with DNA, the blueprint of life. DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, is a complex molecule that contains all the information necessary to build and maintain an organism. It's like the instruction manual for life, coiled up and packed into nearly every cell in our bodies. But how does DNA do this? It's all down to the structure. DNA is made up of two strands twisted into a double helix. Along these strands are pairs of four different molecules, known as bases. These bases, adenine, thymine, guanine and cytosine, pair up in specific ways to form the rungs of the DNA ladder. The order of these bases is what determines the information available for building and maintaining an organism. Now, imagine a long stretch of this DNA ladder. This is what we call a gene. Each gene serves as a set of instructions, a recipe if you will, for making a specific protein. And these proteins are the building blocks of our bodies, determining everything from our hair color to our height, and even our susceptibility to certain diseases. But our DNA doesn't just float around in our cells, it's neatly packaged into structures called chromosomes. Humans typically have 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs in each cell. One of each pair comes from our mother and the other from our father. These pairs are almost identical, but the small differences between them contribute to the unique combination of traits in each individual. Reproduction, then, is the process of passing on these chromosomes, and thus our DNA, from one generation to the next. When a sperm cell from the father fertilizes an egg cell from the mother, a new cell is formed. This cell contains a unique combination of chromosomes, half from each parent, and thus a unique set of DNA instructions. This DNA will guide the development of the embryo, determining its traits and characteristics. And so, the cycle of life continues, with each new generation carrying a unique blend of its parents' traits, yet also containing the potential for variation and change. So DNA is the master key, controlling our traits and characteristics. Now, let's understand the unique cells that carry this DNA from parents to offspring, the sex cells. In the grand scheme of human reproduction, sex cells, known as gametas, play a pivotal role. They are unlike any other cells in the body. While most cells contain a complete set of an individual's DNA, sex cells only contain half. This is crucial for the process of reproduction. In males, these sex cells are called sperm. They are produced in the testes through a process known as spermatogenesis. This process, interestingly, creates four sperm cells from a single parent cell. Each sperm cell carries half of the father's genetic information. They are small, agile, and designed for one purpose, to reach and fertilize the female's egg. On the flip side, in females, the sex cells are eggs, or ova. They are formed in the ovaries through a process called eugenesis. Unlike spermatogenesis, eugenesis results in only one viable egg from each parent cell. These eggs carry half of the mother's genetic information. They are large, nutrient-rich, and designed to nurture a new life once fertilized. The formation of these cells is governed by a process known as meiosis. This is a type of cell division that results in four daughter cells, each with half the number of chromosomes of the parent cell. It's through meiosis that the genetic information in sex cells is shuffled, creating unique combinations of genes. This is why siblings from the same parents can look so different. The importance of sex cells in human reproduction cannot be overstated. They are the vehicles that carry genetic information from one generation to the next. When a sperm cell from the father fertilizes an egg cell from the mother, a new cell is created. This cell, called a zygote, contains a complete set of DNA, half from each parent. It is the beginning of a new life. These sex cells are the carriers of life, 
bridging the gap between generations. The magical moment of conception happens when a sperm cell meets an egg cell. A dance of life begins that is as old as humanity itself, yet as unique as every individual on this planet. This is the moment of conception, the birth of a new life. The process starts with the journey of millions of sperm, released during ejaculation, making their way up the female reproductive tract. Their destination, the egg cell or ovum, released by the female during ovulation. Yet in this crowded race of millions, only one sperm will achieve the ultimate prize, the chance to fertilize the egg. It's a battle of the fittest, showcasing nature's own version of survival of the fittest. The strongest, most resilient sperm will break through the protective layer surrounding the egg, the zona pellucida, in a process called the acrosome reaction. This is no small feat, but rather an epic journey requiring strength, stamina, and a little bit of luck. Once a single victorious sperm penetrates the egg's outer layer, an incredible transformation begins. The genetic material of the sperm, carrying half of the DNA necessary to create a new individual, merges with the genetic material of the egg, which carries the other half. This fusion of sperm and egg creates a single cell with a complete set of DNA, half from the mother, half from the father. This single cell is now a zygote, the first stage of a new human life. The zygote begins to divide, doubling its cells at an astonishing rate. From one cell to two, two to four, four to eight, and so on, each of these cells carries the unique genetic blueprint for the new individual. This whole process, from the meeting of sperm and egg to the formation of a zygote, is an intricate dance choreographed by nature, happening in a matter of hours. It's a testament to the marvels of biology, the intricacy of life, and the wonder of human reproduction. This magical moment of fertilization marks the beginning of a new life. A life that, over the course of nine months, will grow and develop into a fully formed human being, ready to take its first breath in the world. Once fertilization occurs, the tiny zygote embarks on an incredible journey. Our tiny zygote, a single cell made from the fusion of two sex cells, starts its extraordinary voyage. It begins to divide rapidly, morphing into a tiny ball of cells known as a marula. This is the first stage of a process called embryogenesis, the development of an embryo. Within a matter of days, our marula transforms into a blastocyst, a hollow sphere of cells with an inner cell mass. The outer layer of cells, known as the trophoblast, has a very special mission. It will help the blastocyst attach itself to the wall of the uterus, a process that is crucial for the next stage of development. This process, known as implantation, is when the blastocyst burrows itself into the lining of the uterus. It's a pivotal moment. It's here that the blastocyst officially becomes an embryo and starts to receive nutrients from the mother's body, allowing it to grow and develop further. Now, the transformation begins in earnest. The embryo starts to differentiate into three layers, each destined to form different parts of the baby's body. The outermost layer, the ectoderm, will form the skin, brain and nervous system. The middle layer, the mesoderm, will form the muscles, bones and cardiovascular system. The innermost layer, the endoderm, will form the digestive system and other internal organs. Over the following weeks, these layers will organize and fold, shaping themselves into the beginnings of a human body. By the end of the eighth week, the embryo has all the basic structures of an adult and is now termed a fetus. The fetus continues to grow and develop, with every organ, every limb, every tiny detail becoming more defined. It's an intricate dance of cells multiplying, moving and maturing, all in preparation for the moment when this tiny being can survive outside its mother's womb. The fetus grows and develops, preparing for the journey ahead. After a journey of around nine months, the miracle of birth happens. This is a momentous event, a culmination of months of growth and development within the womb, and an initiation into a brand new world for the baby. Let's start at the onset of labor. The body prepares for birth by releasing a hormone called oxytocin, which signals the uterus to contract. These contractions, initially mild and infrequent, gradually increase in intensity and frequency. 
This is the first stage of labor, which lasts until the cervix, the gateway to the womb, is fully dilated to about 10 centimeters. Next comes the second stage of labor, the actual delivery of the baby. With each contraction, the mother pushes, guided by her natural instincts and the assistance of healthcare professionals. The baby too plays an active role, turning and adjusting to fit through the birth canal. This process can take anything from minutes to several hours. Once the baby is born, it takes its first breath, filling the lungs with air. The umbilical cord, the baby's lifeline in the womb, is no longer needed and is cut. From now on, the baby must adapt to life outside the womb, a world of light and sound, of breathing and feeding. The final stage of childbirth is the delivery of the placenta, the organ that has nourished the baby in the womb. This usually happens within half an hour after the baby's birth, marking the end of the birthing process. Childbirth is a profound and complex process, one that reflects the incredible resilience of the human body. It's a testament to the strength of mothers who bring new life into the world, and the adaptability of newborns stepping into an entirely new existence. Every birth is unique, every baby a miracle. It's a process that has been repeated billions of times over the course of human history. Yet each time it retains its wonder, its awe-inspiring nature. The miracle of birth is a testament to the incredible journey of human reproduction. So, we've taken a whirlwind tour of the fascinating process of human reproduction. Let's pause for a moment and revisit the key points we've discussed today. We started our journey by exploring DNA, the genetic blueprint that makes us who we are. DNA is the driving force behind reproduction, carrying the genetic information from parents to offspring. This double helix molecule found in every cell of our bodies is responsible for the traits we inherit, from the color of our eyes to the shape of our nose. Next, we delved into the world of sex cells, or gametes. These specialized cells, sperm in males and eggs in females, are the key players in the reproduction game. Formed through a process called meiosis, these cells carry half the number of chromosomes as the parent cells. This halving of genetic material ensures that when a sperm and an egg unite, the resulting offspring has the right number of chromosomes. Our journey then took us to the moment of conception, that magical instant when a single sperm penetrates an egg, marking the beginning of a new life. This union results in a zygote, a single cell that carries the full set of chromosomes, half from each parent. The zygote then begins to divide and grow, eventually forming an embryo. We followed the embryo's journey as it developed into a fetus, nestled within the nurturing environment of the mother's womb. Over the course of approximately 40 weeks, this tiny collection of cells transforms into a fully formed human being, ready to take its first breath in the world. Finally, we witnessed the miracle of birth, the culmination of this incredible process. Through labor and delivery, the baby makes its way from the womb to the outside world, marking the end of one journey and the beginning of another. In summary, human reproduction is a complex yet beautifully orchestrated process, driven by the intricate interplay of DNA, sex cells, fertilization, embryonic development, and birth. It's a journey filled with wonder and awe, a testament to the power and resilience of life itself. Remember, every single one of us is the result of this incredible journey, a testament to the miracle of life.